Robots are giving us superhuman strength. Oh, it feels so much lighter. Surgical precision. And even a new kind of companionship. With two thirds of the world's robotics patents filed here, China may be the ultimate testing lab for how AI helps us work smarter and live longer. Because with every breakthrough comes a new question. Dr. Fan displays how a Chinese robot can perform complex orthopedic surgeries faster with striking precision. The procedure that once took five hours can now be done in just 30 minutes. You match the scale exactly. It shows the depth and angle is accurate to 0.1 millimeters. Hit a wrong spot and you risk paralyzing or even killing the patient. 22-year-old Wu had surgery just five days ago after a traffic accident crushed her pelvis. And thanks to less invasive robot-assisted surgery, she may be able to go home within a few days. I felt fine after the surgery. Just three days later, I was full of energy again. The global market for surgical robots is booming, expected to hit 60 billion U.S. dollars by 2030. And China is the fastest growing market. Too many patients, not enough surgeons. But there is a catch. Robots are expensive. Switching from imported to domestic models could help cut costs. This one is imported, but we also have domestic models, and they are very good. The costs come from the machine itself, upkeep, and consumables. That's why patients pay more, around 20,000 yuan extra, but they heal faster. The machines alone aren't enough. This training center is helping doctors across South China master the new tech. So this is my crash course on robotic surgery, and this is a process called registration. Basically, we're telling the machine where the bone is. Some local hospitals rarely handle complex surgeries, but with training and robotic aid, their doctors can operate like seasoned specialists. Robots are saving more lives than ever. But what if they could keep us out of hospitals altogether? Normally, climbing up these steep steps wears me out after a while, but not today. I'm wearing an exoskeleton hiking assist. It's packed with smart sensors and they read my every move and provide just the right amount of assist in real time. With dual batteries, this one can support 20,000 steps and lower the pressure on your knees by at least 12 kilograms. The Shenzhen startup behind this tech believes it has huge potential. I can feel the backpack is pulling me up. In warehouses, firefighting and physical therapy. It has a resistance mode, like a weight training. Seniors with muscle loss or knee injuries could use it at home. For longer walks, they can switch to assist mode. By the end of 2024, China had over 310 million people aged 60 and up. About 35 million face mobility issues. And that's why the government is encouraging exoskeletons in elder care. And with more than 55 million people working in logistics, these wearables could reduce injuries. Company founder Yun Bo says they can't make them fast enough. We are making several thousand units per month. There are more than 200 steps in the process. Right now, 90% of the work is manual, but we are ramping up automation. In fact, we just brought in a new machine today. He believes the market is exploding as people get used to wearing superpowers. Still, some jobs remain too dangerous, repetitive or unpredictable for humans. That's where humanoid robots are stepping up in teams. This isn't animation. It's the world's first humanoid team collaborating across tests in a real factory. Robots were developed in Shenzhen. With an AI brain network, these robots learn on the job and talk to their teammates. 
They could help fill China's 30 million worker shortage, taking on repetitive tasks or risky inspections. But how useful are they if they move this slowly? Humanoids today can already run at 12 kilometers per hour, enough to finish a half marathon. In factories, they're slower due to limited training data. Our goal this year is 50% of human efficiency. Since robots don't rest, they'll eventually outperform us. From building cars to saving lives, these robots aren't just solving China's challenges. They're collecting the training data that could boost productivity worldwide. The question isn't whether robots will make us more efficient, but how soon we'll all benefit from what China is learning right now.